Hey, what up, guys? I want to talk about a film I just checked out tonight. I'm recording this right after I pretty much saw it. And that's a uh, Hardcore, put out in 1979. Um, and this is from Indicator Powerhouse. This is a, a UK-based company, but this disc is region-free. So, uh, yeah, I got it off eBay. I don't, I don't know where else you can get it. I don't know if Diabolic carries this. I don't know about American Amazon. I'm sure you can get this from Amazon UK, but... If you really want to see it, I just suggest going on eBay. But um, I really only found out about this movie because I was reading reviews on 8mm Blu-ray, which I'll review tomorrow. I did watch that, the Screen Factory one, and I love that film too. But I wanted to talk about this one because this was a totally new movie to me. I'd never heard of this, never seen it, never knew it existed. I only found out about it because people were talking about it. Like I said, when I, when I looked up 8mm reviews, um, they were like, oh, this is basically 8mm, but better. Um, now, I personally wouldn't say it's better. I like it equally for a different reason. It's not as dark as 8mm, because you're not really dealing with a snuff film on this one. Um, basically, George C. Scott, from you know from The Changeling or Patton, tons of stuff, he basically... His daughter, uh, he's like this all-American kind of Midwestern dude, really Christian and all that, and runs his family on a tight ship and all that, and uh, the daughter's kind of sick of it, and they go on a class trip, and she ends up running away, and uh, he hires a private investigator played by Peter Boyle, who you'd know from uh, Everybody Loves Raymond and, and tons of movies, but uh, he basically finds a, a, a clip of his daughter in this uh, porn film or whatever, and... Uh, so George C. Scott, basically, he wants his daughter back. So he starts pretending to be a porn producer and starts investigating and going into all these porno theaters and kind of going into this whole underworld of the L.A. porn world. This is around 1979. So this is like when that whole thing started getting really popular. And uh, it's a really interesting movie. It's, it's a really good movie. George C. Scott's acting is really good. Everyone's acting pretty much is really good. Um, like I said, I don't like it as much as 8mm, it's almost the same. I just like 8mm for the kind of the creepier edge of the snuff aspect of it. <clears throat> but this is a really similar movie, like 8mm could almost be a remake of this, uh, just without the snuff part, because it's, he's almost just investigating, trying to find his daughter in this whole seedy underworld. And, um, you know, there's the villains and stuff, and... You know, there's a lot of scenes of him driving around at night with the neon glow of the porn signs and all that. And he ends up befriending this prostitute that he finds in this peep show. And she's kind of helping him find his daughter and introduce him to all the people in this town. And it's just a really good movie. I think if you like 8mm, definitely give this one a try. It's, it's a really entertaining movie. And uh, it's just a kind of a slice of a time period that just isn't around anymore. It's just... Um, you know, this is like the darker side of Boogie Nights, uh, or like the dark kind of, like what, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's like what this Christian father is going through knowing his daughter, who he thought was so good and everything, kind of just ran away and started getting into porn. It's, it's, a, it's a really cool take on it. It's a perfect companion piece to 8mm. Um, I think they make a perfect double feature. Uh, this one's probably, I'd say, a little more classier than 8mm, um, but I like Nicolas Cage's acting in that one too. Like I said, I'll review that one tomorrow. Um, but yeah, definitely give this one a try if you're interested in that kind of thing. It's more drama than it is horror, but you're still getting uh, like a dark story. Like I said, it, it's just, it's pretty good. It, the, the difference mainly between this and 8mm also is in 8mm, uh, Nicolas Cage is a private investigator and where this it's of a father looking for the daughter. So it's it's on a different emotional level. Um, now, as far as this Blu-ray, Powerhouse did a really good job with the transfer. It looks beautiful. Uh, this is only my second Powerhouse release. I have like 10 Rillington Place based on that serial killer in London. I don't remember his name off the top of my head, but this is my second one. And I'm pretty satisfied with them. They seem to be like the arrow of more uh, classier film. I'm not, like Arrow does, uh, you know, horror and cult stuff. This is more cult movies that are more Hollywood, if that makes sense. Almost like a, a dirtier criterion, but more, it's 
more Criterion than it is Arrow. And uh, I definitely recommend this movie if you're trying to get into Powerhouse Indicator. I mean, they released some John Carpenter stuff, but this is definitely a cool release. You get a commentary, little interviews and stuff. Unfortunately, you don't get a reverse cover, which is kind of weird that a release like this wouldn't get a reverse cover like that. Um, but anyways, guys, yeah, that was hardcore.